Hey, what's up? My name is Bradley Goss, and this is the first video in a series that I'm going to make that covers behind the scenes of my films as they are being made, including explanations as to why I make the creative decisions that I make during production. Along with this video, the rest of my channel is all about photography and filmmaking, so if that is something you're into, please consider subscribing. So this project was a project that I was assigned in film school. The guidelines are pretty simple. We were given four pre-made scripts with very vague dialogue, as you will see, and we were randomly assigned a genre. So using the conventions and formal elements of that genre, we were to make a three to five minute short film. So now that you know a little bit about the project and what this video specifically is going to cover, let's go ahead and jump right onto set. All right, so today's actually the day before the shoot. We're working on set decoration, lighting plans, stuff like that. So we're actually gonna go upstairs right now to, well, I'll show you guys the set upstairs. Let's go. All right, so the set is actually just my apartment. So we're working with kind of closed space. Um, this is one of the bedrooms. As you can see, we've already put a gel over the light and I'm about to put the dome back on the light. We're just trying to get the color that we want because it is a supernatural film. This is where the summoning happens. So the color is kind of matching the tension that's gonna be established in the scene. So here's the fog machine that we are also gonna use. One issue that I'm running into with this is these can't be turned off. So we're gonna to have to duct tape, uh, black tape or something over it. Um, but yeah, fog machine, it's gonna give a nice haze to the room just to add a little bit more of a dynamic element to make the shot more interesting because it is a very small room. And then in here we are actually just working on building the actual summoning circle. This will be the table it's on so we're going to paint on the tablecloth that we got from Amazon and line up some candles. If you are working with fire for a short film make sure you have a fire extinguisher on set. We do so just keep that in mind if you are working on fire or working with fire. Should we, do you, what do you think about letting these burn down a little bit so they don't look so brand new? Um, I think that's good. I think it's safer too to have them a little more. Okay. Do not come in. <laughs> don't do it. Back. <laughs> All right, so yeah, we are gonna let these burn a little bit because it might look kind of cheesy, kind of weird if these were brand new candles for a summoning circle. So I'm gonna let these burn for about an hour or two before we actually shoot with them for real tomorrow. Also, one other thing about set design. Color of light, again, like the room upstairs is red, color of light is gonna be huge in any film. So I didn't actually do this for the film, but it's very convenient that I have this. I actually have an LED strip installed around the bottom of the entire cabinet. And we can actually change the color with this to communicate kind of the tension, the conflict in the film. So at the beginning, you'll see we're going to start with a blue kind of more neutral, calm color. And then by the end of the short film, the color actually changes to a red to kind of, again, communicate the conflict. Red, again, matching the room upstairs. Yeah, so now we're just gonna work on setting up our lighting schemes for the different scenes, and we'll go from there. All right, so what we're actually trying to set up here is for the first shot, because we are gonna need a lot more light in here. We're gonna try to find this, what is this, aperture? Yeah, we're, this is an aperture 120D, so we're gonna try to flood that onto the ceiling and try to get it to bounce and diffuse over the extras just so it's not so dark in here when we actually do shoot. This film specifically is going to be very reliant on the cinematography to enforce meaning because we were given a script, a pre-made script, we can't change the dialogue, so we really have to take advantage of formal elements like uh, cinematography and lighting patterns and color to kind of reinforce meaning in the story. So let's actually go upstairs and check on the summoning circle. <laughs> Baby kitty. Say hi. Boop. Okay. All right, now we can go upstairs. So we got our circle yeah. started. Does this look like these are even points? Right it's good enough. I think we prefer it not to be perfect. 
thing we talked about, right? It can be a little imperfect. It can be a little imperfect. Though. I also thought, like, I thought maybe it's a bit small. Like, mm -hmm. if we did another ring around the outside and then have the star and the other one, just to give it a little bit more, like, size. Yeah. Then we, I guess then we could have the candles like, in the space between. Yeah. Honestly, you got creative freedom with it. Do whatever. Alright, now we can go put this back on. Or whatever we're on, lock your animals up. Alright, so one of the main reasons I'm doing this now is because if you take a look in here, while the light is the right color, it's a little bit too harsh. So what this is gonna do is add a layer of diffusion, make the light a little bit softer, a little bit nicer to look at. Hopefully it doesn't fall on the actors' heads. So obviously with diffused light it's gonna get a lot dimmer, but that's something we're gonna fix when we actually bring in our other LEDs and throw red gels over them. When he's standing over here, mm -hmm. leave it in the same spot. I say and just turn it so it's bouncing here to the hallway. Mm -hmm. And that'll give us the same quality of light that we're getting over there. I didn't really want to have him talking to anybody. And the, the way that this is written is Olivia's over here. And the way that we communicate that these two are connected is mm -hmm. over the shoulder shots when she keeps looking over at him. And he's just kind of like leaning against the wall zoned out and then when she realizes he's gone she looks over and sees that he's like or she looks over sees that he's gone but then she also sees that that red light and that's when she that's her motivation to go up the stairs right i think we're set yeah awesome. that's great so meet back here jack's gonna be here right yes jack is gonna be here okay so i updated the production schedule Crew meet here at 4, talent shows up at 6.30, shooting starts at 7. Okay, so 4 and not 3 for sure. Yep. So the second half of this video is just going to include an assortment of shots from production day on set. And just so you can see a little bit uh, behind the scenes of how a small shoot like this one typically works, we had a small cast and a small crew. So if you're looking into getting into filmmaking, this is probably what your earlier projects are going to look like. So I hope you get some value out of it. If you do, please leave a like, comment something that you thought was interesting or something you might have done differently. And of course, consider subscribing. Hope you enjoy. Oh, all right, never mind. So yeah, I guess you guys just, I'll need you. Right. Well, everybody, let's just play. Right. Um, we're just gonna record like two minutes of audio of playing. And you guys play here. Oh, no, 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 are you, are you ready? Yeah. Action. And who are you? All right. So we're gonna get this outside shot. All you guys are gonna do is. Can we have them get out of your car, actually? Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. So should, should we still be like talking stuff or? Is that yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. You have to be like moving first, but should I start mixing this one? Uh. Well, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. You can just use one. Um, where's the red food coloring? Uh, so we're gonna have you just lean against that wall over at the closet. Okay. So you guys actually come over here. Okay. He's gonna be isolated over there. Okay. So we're gonna have you kind of shift and move this way. And you're gonna notice, you're just gonna kind of like, your attention's gonna be here. And then you're just gonna walk up the stairs. Okay. Um, <laughs> and action. Me too. Reset. Three, two, one. Action. Three, two. Woo! Oh, so good. Yes. All right. Hold <laughs> oh, on. Oh, my God, man. Go. Woo! Um, oh, I right. settled for it. It's fine, so. Cut. Uh, I don't think you sold that. Okay. <laughs> so, kind of like, kind of the double take, um, and then just kind of like, eyebrows go, that's weird. Like where's it okay. going? Yeah. Actually, go ahead and look right here. Okay. Just above the lens. And action. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes. 
side, I think, needs a little more. I know. There's a bunch. It smells so good. <laughs> so, one, if you aren't paying your crew, even if you are paying your crew, make sure you feed them because, especially if you're doing free work, at least give them something in return. It was super helpful. We only use them for like an hour and a half, but still, it's important to feed your crew, especially if you're doing free work. All right, so this is the room with all the lighting. It's not where it needs to be yet, but we've got our table set up, our summing table with a few props and a knife. I guess the knife is a prop. Um, so, yeah, again, just obviously the tone here is gonna be set by the color. We're gonna throw some fog up before the actors come in. And yeah, we're about set to go for this scene. Over the shoulder to Derek, take one, action. I said don't worry about it, it'll be fine. Okay, just don't do anything stupid. <laughs> well, something like that, I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to do one a little lower. Can we get a little closer too? What if we got like right here? Cause I really like having the candles that are super close. <laughs> right into the face. Okay. Good to go. All right, audio good, visual good. Mm -hmm. Low angle to Derek, take one, action. I said don't worry about it, it'll be fine. Okay, just don't do anything stupid. I know what I'm doing. Oh no. What's wrong? I'm sorry. I warned you. So now that you've seen a lot of the behind the scenes, feel free to stick around and watch the entire project from start to finish. Now I will admit there's a lot of things that we failed to do, mainly character development and story development, but given a pre-made script, there were a lot of limitations. So it is what it is. And overall, I'm relatively happy with it given the circumstances. But again, like I said, as a filmmaker, as a creator in general, you're always gonna find stuff in your projects that you wish you would have done better. But try not to get hung up on those and appreciate the process and you'll get better as you go. Again, my name is Bradley Goss. Thank you so much for watching and find a reason to smile. Stay creative.
Why are you doing that? Don't worry about it. You need to be careful. I said don't worry about it. It'll be fine. Okay, just don't do anything stupid. I know what I'm doing. Oh no. What's wrong? I'm sorry. I warned you. It was an accident. What the? What is that? Don't worry about it.